Hello, everybody. Let's get back to our quest at hand and speak to this Charleston Nib. Nothing for you here. Let's see what he wants. He orders his diggers to put their backs into those shovels. If she's not out tonight, we'll lose her to the bandit scum. Bandito scum. You there. State your business, but don't move from where you stand. I don't want to have to sick the boys on you. Hmm. Well, relax. We mean no harm to ye. Have ye had much trouble? Have we? I and plenty of it. Nary an eve goes by without us losing another hand to the night. I swear, if we could just get a few moments of uninterrupted digging done. Say, you wouldn't be willing to do a little service for me, would you? You could do a lot worse than working for old Charleston Nib. Hmm. Well, I'd like to know just what I would be protecting. What are you doing here? Looks to be glorified grave robbing in nothing but a decrepit tomb. Let's see what he says. You're partially right. No, it's not a tomb, but an ancient settlement. It is also all that remains of a primitive race, long since extinct. We know little about their culture, save that they seem to have destroyed themselves in war. Interesting. They're about to break into the inner chamber, perhaps the dwelling of the village shaman himself. He asks us to keep the camp secure a short while longer. Our presence would probably dissuade anyone from attacking them. I see. Hmm. Huh. Well, it seems like a, a noble quest. It would be an honor to help you learned people in your quest for knowledge. Gracious they are. Now we stand a chance of completing the most exciting day of our dig. I'm going to try for an entire new room today. Move amongst the men as we will, as our presence will no doubt reassure them. You said something? Who's this? Galore. He asks us to step aside a moment and have a little chat away from prying ears. His name is Galore, second. We never had this conversation. Mm, it seems like we are right now, though. He's the partner of Mr. Charleston. But he's not too thrilled about the non-profit nature of the expedition. I see, so he is asking for the magical treasure that they're about to unearth. There are people who would pay well for it. He would like us to steal the item and remove Mr. Nib from the equation. Hmm. Interesting. Well, I would have to kill many of the working men if I attacked Charleston. It would be a veritable slaughter, and I want no part of it. Blast you. You're playing just as safe as the old man. So be it. I'll find other means to acquire a fair measure of profit from this fiasco. Best you continue on whatever errand you be on. Uh, I'm just going to let him walk around here. Charleston, yes. there's a, a traitor among you. All right. I see. So everyone's filtering into the cave. He has no interest in learning about this Galore and his insidious plot. Huh. It's like cave carvings and blood on the walls. Or maybe just paint. I can't quite tell. So we feebly tried to navigate our way yes. through these caves. Success! We're about to enter the last remaining room. It's sure to be the shaman's abode. We'll get some real information about what these people were truly like. How old is the air in this place? Nearly 5,000 years. The very gods of Netheril would have been young at that time. He feels cold and strange. He hears voices in his head. To mumble, speak up, guide his hands, Rog. There's power to be had from... Our deaths. Our blood will quiet the voice. Blood will quiet. My blade will cut you down to Diggers side. are insane. We have no choice but to defend ourselves. What is this? What is going on in here? I seem to scream in some ancient tongues, but he recognized the word Kaza. The name of an ancient power, the name of a god of pandemonium. Kaza, the destruction that he brought, must have been worshipped by the tribe that lived here. The artifact that lies within the stone sarcophagus must be what has caused all this bloodshed. Surely it is cursed beyond belief. Make sure it is within its proper place and we will seal the entrance as best it never sees the light of day. Everyone pack up. <laughs> Alright then. 
circle that who he's ordering around exactly. His, uh, his diggers are dead. This must be it then. The idol. Hmm. Well, I'm sure just taking it for a little like while wouldn't hurt anyone. Better leadership Picks Kazo the Storm Star, a long extinct god who is venerated and feared among the less powerful strata of ancient Netherese society. Storms, earthquakes, strife, and rebellion. They were outlawed by many of their arc wizards. I see. Hmm. Alright then. Well, we'll certainly want to put that back. As uh, we don't want to provoke his wrath. And I don't see anything else of interest in here. So let's get out of this place. I've had just about my fill of vengeful gods and nasty surprises like that. And dark tombs. So we shall leave. That's a pity. What is that noise? What the hell is this? A doomsayer? Uh. Okay. Uh, two arms! Two arms. Let's chant and um, pray, I guess. I don't know what he's going to do. Maybe we can preemptively remove fear to raise our morale and prevent us from any uh, fear-based attacks he might have. And um, for the best. Koza. Rachni Dalasor. Koza, the idol. We'll find the idol. All right. Oh god, who's going for now? Come on. Do it. What? Where is he going? Do you want to fight or not? Let's try our wand of frost against him. Uh, Khalid, I don't want to just instantly get killed, so we're going to preemptively heal him too. I'm going to tell you how hard this thing's going to hit. Did you actually hit that thing? I think he, he saved against our uh, wand of frost, so let's try that again. And let's cast Draw Upon Holy Might. I'm gonna do some And uh, more healing. Fight as you've never fought before. That was a strange creature. Uh, run for your life. Stay away, come on. Uh, let's switch quickly to some magic arrows, perhaps. No, I don't really have any. Of interest. I'll do my best. Yes, look. What, now I wonder. Hopefully, you have better luck than you Healing. This thing is quite a menace. But any luck, you just might be able to vanquish it. Uh, definitely not with Yeslik though. He's gonna run away in fear now. Uh, he's actually going to be slain. That's too bad. Oh, step to the plate. And hopefully I don't need a grizzly end as well. Let's try and get Khalid back in here. Alright, definitely out of healing and all other manner of spells. I'm going to run, try and pass some of Jahir's potions off to myself, and see if we fare any better. Fight! Vanquish this foul creature. Oh my please, man. Young is, uh, not pretty. Are you even hitting it anymore? Seems like only I'm able to actually damage it even. I'm going to run. Right, run. It's definitely taking zero damage from Corrin. That would explain why we're having so much trouble, I think. Yes, here it comes for him. So I'll switch to a sword. Hopefully, I don't get just instantly slain. Well, you succeeded. You vanquished it. Corrin with the critical hit, I think. Or someone. 
Okay. Uh, well, that was uh, that was a struggle there. We oh, lost two of our, of our party, but we did prevail narrowly. Oh, okay. Well, with any luck, it will be worth the uh, cost of resurrecting them. So let's pick up what we can and um, make way for the temple, I think, after we have succeeded here. If I can find anything else. Oh, that was Khalid's composite bow, so we'll definitely want that. Uh, yes, look. He died somewhere around these parts, I think, so I'm not exactly sure. There he was. All right. So we're going to try and uh, pick up what we can. Everyone's inventory is full, though. That's no good. Uh, I'll try and uh, make some sense of that in the next video and come back, make our way for the closest uh, temple and resurrect our fallen.